It is Wednesday, July 22nd, 2020, and it's 2.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're on the last chapter of the Book of Romans. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I commend unto you, Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church, which is at Sincrea, that ye receive her in the Lord as become a saint, and that ye assist her in whatsoever business she hath need of you. For she hath been a succorer of many, and of myself also. Greet Priscilla, Priscilla and Aquila, my helpers in Christ Jesus, who have for my life laid down their own necks, unto whom not only I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. Likewise, greet the church that is in their house. Salute my well-beloved Eponidas, who is the first fruits of Achaia unto Christ. Greet Mary, who bestowed much labor on us. Salute Andronicus and Junia, my kinsmen, and my fellow prisoners, who are of note among the apostles who also were in Christ before me. Greet Amplius, my beloved, in the Lord. Salute Urbane, our helper in Christ, and Stachys, my beloved. Salute Apelles, approved in Christ. Salute them which are Aristobulus' household. Salute Herodian, my kinsman. Greet them that be of the household of our Narcissus, which are in the Lord. Salute Trophina and Trophosa, who labor in the Lord. Salute the, the, the beloved the, the beloved Persis, which labored much in the Lord. Salute Rufus, chosen in the Lord, and his mother and mine. Salute Asyncritus, Phlegon, Hermas, Patrobus, Hermes, and the brethren which are with them. Salute Philologus, Philologus, and Julia, Nereus, and his sister, and Olympus, and all the saints which are with them. Salute one another with an holy kiss. The churches of Christ salute you. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive their hearts of the simple. For your obedience is come abroad unto all men. I am glad therefore on your behalf, but yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Boy, I'm looking for this day. Fighting the devil is tiresome. Timotheus, my work fellow, and Lucius and Jason and Susipater, my kinsmen, salute you. I, Tertius, who wrote this epistle, salute you in the Lord. Gaius, mine host, and of the whole church, saluteth you. Er Erastus, the chamberlain of the city, saluteth you. And Quartus, a brother. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Now to him that it is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began but now is made manifest and by the scriptures of the prophets according to the commandment of the everlasting God made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. To God only wise be glory through Jesus Christ forever. Amen. Written to the Romans from Corinthus and sent by Phoebe, servant of the church at Centria. Hallelujah. And I want to say that God Almighty is amazing. And he does move in mysterious ways. Thank you, Jesus.